uh, this is something else. This came together really, really quickly. Last minute, wasn't sure if it was going to go through, but uh, I just bought a 2021 Dodge Durango Hellcat. It's only one of 2,000. I was not expecting this to come together the way it did. Um, I'm so excited for this. Get here? Today or yesterday? It must have been yesterday when I was out. I'm so glad I... Yeah, you on here. Yeah. All right, so Jim sold the first Viper at this dealership. He sold the first TRX at this dealership to me, and he sold the first Hellcat Durango. Where do you want me to sign, Jim? Uh, that one, and yeah, she'll sign the second one. So how's it feel? First Durango, this Hellcat. Is, that's cool. Considering when I bought the Daytona, I almost bought a Durango. This is crazy. <laughs> what? Is that time? Now, just to put it to scale, this thing is like huge. It's big. that the Charger was the world's most badass grocery getter, but I have to say that's got to be the most badass grocery getter. Yes, I do too. So this is the blue TRX that I'd originally planned on buying when I sold the Hellcat Durango. The whole point of selling the Hellcat Durango was to buy this truck. The day before the Durango sold, someone bought the truck and that sucks. Taking it home, 2021 SRT Durango. We missed the Hellcat Durango, and this one 
and this one came available and it can't, seems kind of silly to sell a Hellcat and buy the 392, the SRT Durango, but we made a lot of money on the Hellcat Durango and I love the style. All right, so there you have it. Now, when I bought the Hellcat Durango earlier this year, I did not have the intention of selling it, um, but then I realized that I could make a bunch of money and potentially chase another TRX, and that's what I did. Um, do I regret making that decision? I don't particularly regret the decision. The only thing I regret was getting there too late to get that Ram TRX, um, but things fell into place. They were, they are what they are. When this second Hellcat Durango became available, I had to jump all over it. Um, Destroyer Gray is one of my favorite colors that Dodge has ever offered. It sucks that that color is not available in a Challenger or a Charger. Uh, when I built my Hellcat Red Eye Jailbreak, if Destroyer Gray was available, I would have chosen that color. Um, being that this Hellcat Durango is coming in Destroyer Gray, I can't wait. <laughs> I really can't. I love that color. Uh, this, this is the perfect choice for me. Uh, will I sell this car anytime soon? I, I can't say anything for certain. I'm one of those people where, you know, my dad always taught me money talks and bullshit walks. Uh, everything has a price tag um, that, would, that doesn't have emotional attachment. So will I sell it? Probably not anytime soon, but you know, I have some other things in the pipeline that I don't want to talk about just yet. So the, the objective here is not to sell this car. The objective here is for this to be the first step in a much bigger plan that I have for 2022, which I'll get into in, one, in, a, in a future video. I have a year-end video that I'm working on that uh, I'll go into more detail with that in, on. Uh, but yeah, we're going to get this Hellcat Durango, barring any kind of unforeseen uh, bank problems or, or anything, or with the dealership where they, if, you know, if the dealership comes at last minute and they want markups or anything like that, that obviously could throw a wrench into the plans. But the the objective here is for this to be the first step in a, in a, in a direction that I'm hoping the channel will go into. So I, I can't wait for this to take delivery of this car. Uh, it is done being built since I've recorded the first part of this video. It went from being built uh, to in transit. I estimate that it's going to be at least a month before it gets here. The deposit has been placed. The car is reserved. So again, barring any unforeseen uh, circumstances that, that would be out of my control, this car is coming to the channel. Uh, we are going to sell our current 2021 SRT Durango uh, to go towards that Hellcat Durango. Uh, so if anybody's interested in a, in a black SRT Durango with 12,500 miles, uh, we are selling this one. Um, we're, pr we're probably going to price it around 72000 MSRP is just above that. Uh, according to Kelly Blue Book, uh, the private party value is in that neighborhood. With the current car market, we shouldn't have any issues getting seventy to seventy-two thousand dollars for it. Back when we got it appraised for trade about two and a half months ago, uh, we were Dodge offered us sixty-eight five for it. Now, has that went up or down? Who knows? We may do a video where we shop it around from dealer to dealer to see what we could get for it. Uh, but you know, we're also open to a private party sale, seventy-two grand, and uh, and it's yours today. I'm pretty excited for where the channel is going to go. Again, I have a year-end video um, coming soon, so I don't want to go into too much detail in this particular video, but stay tuned for the year-end video. And uh, that should be it. Um, we got the deposit down, and we're just waiting on the car to be delivered. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and make sure you hit that bell so you get notified for all the videos. I appreciate you guys watching, and y'all take it easy.